hello guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is Ali today I am going to show you how you can make your study area predicted crop yield map and in this six, in this tutorial I will use linear regression model to predict crop yield using NDVI so here I will explain that uh, what is uh, FPR and LAI that we actually gonna use to get our final predicted crop yield map so later I will explain it uh, further so here I'm just giving you an overview and then I will further show you the data set bands and properties so in this example I'm going to use NDVA and FPR which I will uh, explain further when I will move to the data set bands properties description but here I'm just going giving you an overview so uh, first of all I loaded my area of interest and I defined the date range for which I want my uh, crop yield map so in this case for example I'm using Jaipur India and the date range I'm using here is 2019 from first to the last month and if you want for example you can set your uh, own time range because the data set is available from 2022 uh, sorry 2000 to 2024 so here you can see we actually going to use modis leaf area index fpar so here i will explain each and everything so first of all i'm just showing you that data set availability it's from 2002 to 2024 sorry uh, so that is data set it's uh, all about the data set and uh, here's one thing that modis data sets actually use uh, s r dash o r g uh, six nine uh, seven four projection so in this video i will mainly focus on how you can clip on modis data sets which actually sometimes give us error of projections so uh, you can see that I clipped successfully and I will fix that error as this person saying that uh, I'm I'm using the data set and I'm uh, getting error for different projections so I will mainly focus on this issue and I will use function first of all I will get the projection of modis then I will transform my shape file into modis in this video and uh, you can check that sr or g6974 is the by default projection used by the modis data set and in this video i will uh, explain how you can reproject your shape file accordingly or you can reproject modis data accordingly so i will use function you can just see over there and here you can see how this person is like saying that a different uh, data array with a different data set different projection so i will also fix that issue in this video so you can see that according to the uh, modis data set uh, the modis data set actually use a spherical projection ellipsoid but a wgs datum ellipsoid so in this video don't worry i will just fix it all okay so here you can just read that this is not the quit the same as the definition the duplicate it is about defined by sr or g with the espg code 6974 and here you can see different uh, like arguments over google so i just wanted to show you in this video that i will also focus on uh, projection on clipping so mostly people get that clipping uh, error uh, in modis so i will in this video i will also uh, clip to the my shape file uh, to, and i will also show you how you can do that and we will also generate our predicted crop yield map so here you can see that fpar is the scale value for fpar is 0 0.01 and for lai leaf area index is 0 0.1 so here I just loaded my uh, modis data set and then I exp uh, here I will apply this function and for this function I explained here that normalized different vegetation index and dy this function calculates and dy and indicator of vegetation health from the modis data and where we will use actually LAI and FPAR LAI as I explained leaf area index and FPAR is a fraction of photosynthetically active radar band so we will use these two bands for which I just explained the scale value 0 0.1 and 0 0.01 so here I just simply applied that function uh, to calculate NDVI so 
and the scale value I got from here as I earlier I explained so you can see and finally uh, after applying scale uh, I applied the NDVI formula so after applying NDVI formula then I applied function to clip okay so this is the main thing that for modis data set as I explained that they use sr-org uh, projection uh, 6970 something and for that we have to uh, convert the projection so first of all I'm just showing you that uh, for that uh, I converted projection and later I will explain further it more that how I, I uh, handle that projection error so first of all I'm just showing you here that function to calculate mean uh, and dvi so i applied reducer and i applied scale and the resolution i got from the modis data set it's just 500 meters and then i applied now after applying that here the main thing that i applied function to calculate crop yield so to predict crop yield i'm using here linear model as i earlier explained so in this example i'm just going to use linear model linear regression model so if you want any other model to predict crop yield you can use that i'm just using simple linear regression mo model by using fpr and rai over here and here you can see that how i applied the formula to get this uh, predicted crop yield in the legend you can see that uh, i got predicted crop yield 0.35 red one and i also pasted rgb code well later when you will use in arc map you can just use this color palette to get the exact exact same imagery in your arc map so here i explained that uh, uh, how i applied the function and i got mean ndvi value mean predicted crop yield value in console and overall mean uh, ndvi value so i applied the function to get the overall mean ndvi from the list as, as you can see in the list there's around 91 elements so i applied the function to get overall mean ndvi here's the main thing the projection that i told you earlier thus modis data set uses sr dot uh, org 6974 uh, projection which is actually sinusoidal projection so uh, first of all to handle this and to clip on our study area first of all we're gonna use modis uh, projection uh, so we're gonna reproject the shape file so for example modis projection first what actually that first function is it get over the it gets the projection of modis so when we will get the projection of modi we will transform our geometry so what i did i did same first of all i got the projection of modis then i applied that projection or then i transformed my shape file to that projection simple so we will get exactly our study area uh, predicted crop map uh, for this modis data set so here you can see this is how i uh, handled the data and here you can see how I got the predicted crop mail uh, for my study area. You can see that uh, I defined the visualization parameters. Here you can see minimum and maximum. Later I will also explain that how you can get minimum and maximum range within this video. When I will uh, perform this analysis over another study area, then I will adjust all the values and parameters. I will show you then how you can get. But here I'm just showing you that how i got the layer I, I added colors and i added ndvi exact range so uh here you can see that uh, i got ndvi okay uh, after doing that then i like clipped everything to my study area uh, and i added visualization parameters and as i earlier explained that for all that i first of all transformed my study area into uh, modis projection now here's the main thing that i added uh, also a uh, legend so you can see that i added rgb code which will help you for example if you export this 
imagery in arc map so it will help you to get the same layout over your arc map i also explained in my last video fully uh, a detailed tutorial i given in my last video that how you can uh, like uh, get exact same layout in your arc map so you can follow my previous video or i need to say my last video which i uploaded before this video so you can get an idea how you can apply this rgb code for that and you can see in legend i uh, manually set the minimum and variable uh, sorry minimum and maximum value so you can get minimum and maximum and adjust over here so in when later i will use this code for another study area i will explain it so it's all about the code so it's all about the code now let me click on run to show you how it works then i will perform this same uh, analysis over another study area and then i will also set visualization parameters uh, over another study area and i will show you so i'm just going to click on run and let's check what happens so when i clicked on run first of all it will show me my study area as a blue i just selected blue color for my study area it's up to you whatever you want so this is my shape file okay now it's gonna load uh, ndvi and our predicted crop yield map which we uh, uh, generated by using linear regression model so here you can see that uh, first of all our shape file is loaded actually my internet is a bit slow so layer is loading so here you can see it loaded the ndvi now the bluish part uh, is actually my shape file actually that area is under like it can be urban area so that's why it's not coming uh, into the vegetation area so don't mind about that and here you can see that i got the flood uh, sorry the predicted crop uh, yield uh, layout for my jayboard now if uh, for example i click on i click this on another study area in this case i'm going to use tamil nadu uh, layer is just being loading i'm just uh, waiting to finish the load or we can just simply uh, type the Tamil Nadu spelling directly into our ID. For example, I'm just copying it, or you can just simply copy the name from your repository and copy and paste in that. So, for example, I'm just replacing Jaipur with Tamil Nadu. Now I will click on run and I will show you how you can adjust the parameters. So for example, I'm just going to click on run and let's see. now uh, you can see it loaded successfully loaded my shape file on tamil Nadu region and this is the ndva layout and now i'm just waiting for the final uh, predicted crop yield layout so here you can see appeared the predicted crop yield uh, map layout now you have to uh, keep in mind that uh, the layout we just watching is not exactly to the according to the value so first of all we have to set it uh, uh manually we have to set all the ranges minimum and maximum and uh, here i will explain how you will get minimum and maximum ranges so as i clicked on layer so for example <clears throat> first of all i'm going to get the predicted crop yield percentage so i just clicked on stretch 98 percent so it given me the range you can see it given me the range from minimum to maximum so via this way you can get your range and simply copy this minimum range from here and paste to the minimum range and as i'm doing in the video and simply you can also copy the maximum range and copy into the video and just replaces the ranges as i'm doing here so i'm just copying copy and paste to the maximum layer and you will get your maximum layer so for example this is our layer just uh, copied the layer now same we have to replace the uh, minimum and maximum range in our 
uh, legend to get accurate legend so i'm just going to show you for example i'm just going pasting and this is our maximum range via this way you can get your minimum and maximum range and you can simply just uh, paste or replace and you will get exactly your study area uh, range uh, uh, sorry your study area accurate map so for example i'm just going to run and i will show you that the accurate result according to the value for this particular study area in this case i'm using uh, tamil Udo. now it's just being loading so if you are new to my channel please subscribe and also remember to share my channel with your community i'll be grateful to you so here you can see that it loaded uh, shapefile now i'm just waiting to for the results and you will see a feel that the result will be bit bit a little bit changed this time because it's according to the accurate values now our final layer is just uh, about to load so here you can see that we got our final predicted crop yield uh, layout same uh, you can also uh, apply the ndvi range and uh, you will get ndvi maximum and minimum range for example just go to ntvi and click on the range click on custom it should be in a stretch 98 percent and you will get your index number i mean to say minimum or maximum range so for example this is minimum max maximum range just simply click on apply and you got your ndvi according to your maximum and minimum range and you can simply replace i'm just here i'm not replacing the value i'm just directly applying from here just to show you that via this way you can get your map here uh, for example you can change the colors according to your for example if you want some different colors if you want to try different colors you can just change the colors it's, it's up to you for example for in the case of Tamil Nodo I want to make it like more visually appealing so you have to be good in your color sense so for example I'm just uh, going to select some different colors so it will make my map a little bit more appealing so i'm j i just have a little bit good hands on colors so i'm just showing you so here you can see that we got our final layout of predicted crop yield map and it's very much beautiful and uh, appealing and i used accurate beautiful colors so you can see that uh it's like perfect so we are this way you can get uh, your predicted crop yield map hope it was helpful thank you for watching bye take